I want to talk now about writing an equation on the line given the y-intercept and another point. So if you have the y-intercept and you have another point and you want to write the equation over the line, there's actually two ways to do this. Um, and I want to show you both ways. So the first one is to think about our equation y equals mx plus b. So y equals mx plus b. And we want to figure out what m is and what b is. Well, we already know what b is, so we can say, okay, right away, y equals mx minus 2, because b is negative 2. Then, we need to find m, but we don't know m, but we do know x and y, or at least 1x and 1y. So this could be x1, y1. So we can actually plug this in for x and plug this in for y and use that to find m. So we would put in 7 for y equals m times negative 3 for x minus 2. Now again, this isn't going to give us the equation of the line because the equation of the line needs a general y and a general x. But we can use the specific x and the specific y in this equation to solve for m. So now we're just going to do this. So I'm going to start by adding 2 to both sides so that I can get m all by itself. So I'm going to get 9 equals m times negative 3. So now I'm going to do the opposite and divide by negative 3 so that m equals negative 3. Okay, so now I have m and I have b, so my line is going to be y equals negative 3x, that's y equals mx, right, plus b is negative 2. Whoops, let me write minus 2. So that's mx plus b, negative 3x minus 2. And that's my final answer. Okay, so that is one way to do it, but there's another way to do it. So let me change colors. And then, so if we know that b is negative 2, this also means that one of the points on our graph is 0, comma, negative 2. And then we know that we have another point, which is negative 3, 7. So then we can just use the formula for slope to find the slope between two points. So this will be x1, y1, and x2, y2. So we're going to do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So 7 minus negative 2 over negative 3 minus 0. So this is going to be 9 over negative 3, or just negative 3. And now we can just go ahead and plug this back into y equals mx plus b. So now we know m is negative 3, so y equals negative 3x, and then we already know b, so that's minus 2. So either way, whichever way you feel is easier for you, go ahead and do it that way. But those are both ways of finding the equation of the line given the y-intercept and another point.